Um, so here we have our design objectives that we determined last time. Uh, and so uh, let's try to quantify these with some criteria. And so for cost, how much do we think that we wanted to co our device to cost? So looking on Google, I think that the cost of an infusion pump, which they use in the U.S., is uh, like less than $1,000. Okay, so that seems really high, especially because, because it's for the developing world. Um, yeah, I've, I've read that they actually only spend about $2 a person on healthcare. Um, so... Would less than $100 be good then? Um, especially if we're working with the developing world? So, so after talking to our clients, Dr. Richard Scordum and Dr. Odin, uh, they suggested that something like twenty to thirty dollars might be reasonable right. for these uh, for these uh, developing countries. Okay, so let's try and twenty. Okay, twenty, yeah, <laughs> yeah, let's, okay, go. let's go for it. Yeah. And for weight, then, uh, how much, uh, how heavy can we can we let it be? Well, if you think about a medical device, that's going to be probably carried around and then you have nurses in developing countries that are going to be using them. We want it definitely under a certain amount that can be carried, so under 10 kilograms for sure. I think um, but if you think about like when you go to the gym, you want it probably around the weight of a dumbbell as well. So maybe hit around two or three kilograms. Okay. That would be good. Yeah, I think that's reasonable. Yeah. Okay. So around two kilograms. I think that's what we want to shoot for, for sure. Okay. Um, ease of use. So this is going to be, I guess, how easy it is for somebody to use the device. How do you quantify that? How do you... I guess there could be a couple of different ways we could do it. Um, we could do, like, look at the num amount of time it takes, or even, um, uh, like, the number of steps it takes to, like, set up the device, whatever it is. Yeah. We have to consider, um, like, the educational level of the end users. So they're in developing countries. Um, they might not even be literate, so there's a lot that's, of things to Yeah, that's a account. very broad amount of aspects that we're going to be defining. So I think if we went more towards the user-based scale to define ease of use, I think that might be better. Yeah. Um, we should probably come back to that since it's a bit okay. harder to define um, in numbers. I'll just put user-defined scale for now. Yeah. yeah that's great. Okay, so we want to be, actually, you do should be um, within a certain range of the target. So. For maybe children, sometimes they may only need 200 milliliters of fluid. And so we want to be around that range. Um, I feel maybe like within 100 milliliters, but then within 100 milliliters maybe, but so like between one. So if we, we want to give them 200, it would be between 100 and 300. That's a that bit seems high. like a yeah. really big range. Yeah, it does. So um, maybe something smaller, like. 50 or even 20, 20 milliliters. Okay, so, yeah, so. I don't see anybody being hurt with just maybe 20 extra milliliters, so. I think that would be a safe, a safe amount. Um, 20 mils. Just thinking about their, the size of a child, I think. That yeah. And then do we want that to be 20 mils across all volume suspense? Because if we did like a t percent, mm -hmm. do you think that would be better? No. So if you, had, if you had like 800 <laughs> milliliters and then say do like, if it was a percentage, the, it would kind of accumulate the air, oh, you're accumulate right. yeah, it's right, okay. a dangerous oh, yeah. volume. So I think we should keep it as a volume of, yeah. uh, let's say so, 20 milliliters. So less than, plus less or minus than. 20 mils. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's good. Yeah. Um, durability. So the device is going to be moved around. Um, how often do we think it's going to be used? Uh, if we're going to be selling it or giving it to, um, I guess, low resource settings or in the developed world, I think they wouldn't want to buy it too often. They would want to like, have it last a long time, so maybe around 10 years? You think it's that seems like a little much because it's really hot and humid over there. So like, whatever we make will probably start uh, degrading pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. yeah, and if they use this device a lot, let's say they use it um, maybe three times a day, um, it might not last uh, up to 10 years. And if they're moving it, you know, something, it has to be able to stand um, movement. So maybe we think that we can get it within 10 years seems high, so maybe come in half like to five years. Seems all right. Yeah, so five years at the least. Um, okay, 
So. Um, so I think one thing that I read about was one way to quantify reliability is like a failure rate, like uh, X times in like 100,000 uses. Okay. So how many, how reliability would be quantified by things going wrong? Like yeah. We want to minimize that. Yeah, so like how many times uh, would we do it? I mean, since a patient's life is at stake, I yeah. guess hopefully zero, but I guess that's not very realistic. Yeah, yeah it's impossible to so. have a zero percent failure rate. Um, well, if you're going with 100,000 uses, um, maybe 10. Do you think 10 is too much? That might be a lot. That's like... 10 people? Yeah. Um, I would try <laughs> maybe pretty... one if we can. Yeah. So, okay. Get as close to zero as possible. So what we've done is we've taken our objectives and we've turned them into measurable design criteria. Uh, that we can use when making decisions about um, how we're going to engineer this device. Uh, so we said we want our cost to be less than $20 um, and the weight of each device to be less than 2 kilograms. And then when we came to ease of use, we thought it would be more suitable to have a user defined scale. And then when we came to accuracy, we wanted something that was uh, under plus or minus 20 mils instead of an actual percent of IV fluid dispensed. Um, as for durability, we decided on uh, something that lasts more than five years. And for reliability, uh, we quantified that as a failure rate of less than uh, one uh, failure per 100,000 uses.